DaVinci Resolve 18 is out now. The full release of DaVinci Resolve 18 has been released today and it's available right now for you to download completely for free. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, all you need to do, simply go to Google and type in DaVinci Resolve and click the top link or simply click the link down in the description below. And that will take you to the DaVinci Resolve website. Scroll down until you see this box here where it says free download now. Give that a click. If it's the free version you want, you need to make sure that you go to DaVinci Resolve 18. If it's the paid version, then you want DaVinci Resolve Studio 18. Simply pick the version that you want, either Mac OS, Windows or Linux, fill in any details and then simply hit register and download to download DaVinci Resolve. And then once downloaded, open it up and you can start the installation process. It's really simple. You don't need to tick any of the additional boxes. Everything that you need will be ticked by default and then simply hit install and it'll run through the installation process. Hit next when required and then you'll be up and running with DaVinci Resolve 18 in no time. And then boom, just like that, we're in DaVinci Resolve 18. Now, if you've already got DaVinci Resolve and you're looking to upgrade, fear not, because that's easy too. Simply open up DaVinci Resolve, and when you start a new project, this box should appear. Simply hit download. If this doesn't appear, all you need to do, click on DaVinci Resolve in the top left-hand corner of any project, and then click on check for updates. That will have a quick thing and let you know if there's any updates ready to download Mine says there is, so I just need to download and then I can get installing. That's going to download the correct version for me, in my case, DaVinci Resolve Studio for Windows. Now, while it is downloading, you may want to do a backup of your current DaVinci Resolve database. And again, that's nice and easy. Simply open up your project manager by clicking on the little house icon, bottom right hand corner, until you see this screen. Make sure you've got your databases open on the left. If you don't see this bar, simply click on this little icon to open and close that as needed. Now, depending on what version of DaVinci Resolve you're using, click on the database and then it's either going to be a backup icon at the top little menu here. But if you're on DaVinci Resolve 18 beta, all you need to do, click on the little I next to the local database or whatever your database is called. Then you've got this option to back up. So I'm going to give that a click. It will ask me where to save my project's database backup. Pick a save location on your PC and then simply hit save. But should you upgrade? Absolutely, it's not just packed with loads of great new headline features, but it's also the fastest version of DaVinci Resolve I've ever used thanks to that improved Fusion rendering engine on the edit page. Fusion effects, which are weirdly slow in old versions of DaVinci Resolve, are now buttery smooth in DaVinci Resolve 18. That's 4K at full 30 frames per second with no render cache. Now the same thing applies for transitions. Third party tools like my very own Magic Animate tool, which is running again 4K 30, and even Fusion titles. Everything's just so much smoother, which makes editing faster and just way more fun. It's all just so buttery smooth. Plus, if you're a paid DaVinci Resolve Studio user, you get all of those awesome new headline features as well. So what are you waiting for? Go download it right now and let me know how you get on with it down in the comments below.